Wideout works to accommodate local traffic where possible during a closure event. As a result, you may see drivers passing a road closure gate. However, you should never travel on a closed road without explicit permission to do so. All road closures in Wyoming are enforceable, regardless of whether access is physically blocked. In the state of Wyoming, we have two types of road closure signage. There are physical gates, barriers that drop down, but we also have the road close sign with flashing red lights. When YDOT closes a highway, it's because crashes or conditions have made the road impassable. If you travel on a closed road, you risk becoming stuck or causing a crash. And we're gonna have to initiate an emergency response crew other than the highway department. We're talking about search and rescue. It's gonna take them time to mobilize. They're gonna have to get equipment that can get through a blizzard. And that's gonna take time while you're stranded. To safely and legally drive on a closed road, drivers must have clearance through YDOT's authorized travel program or permission from an on-site trooper working the gate. Driving on a closed road is not only dangerous, it can delay the opening of the road. When someone goes around a road closure, it can interfere with the operations to get the highway back open, whether it be snow removal, there's a crash ahead, or even a hazardous material spill. Drivers who ignore closure signs can be fined up to $750. Remember, when there's ice and snow, take it slow and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.